Hello everyone and welcome to this video about growing peppers at home. In this video, we will show you step by step how to grow your own peppers and which types are best suited for home growing. There are many different types of peppers that you can grow at home. It's important to know which types are suitable for home growing, as some peppers require more space and sunlight than others. Jalapeno peppers. These peppers have a medium heat level. They require about 6 to 8 hours of sunlight per day and are best grown indoors or in a sunny spot outdoors. Habanero peppers. These peppers are hot and are often used in spicy dishes such as chili and curries. They require a lot of sunlight and should be grown in a warm environment with a constant temperature of about 27 degrees Celsius. Cayenne peppers. These peppers have a mild to medium heat level and are often used in dishes such as tacos and omelets. They require about 6 to 8 hours of sunlight per day and can be grown indoors or outdoors in a sunny spot. Bell peppers. These peppers have a mild flavor and are often used in salads, stir fries, and as a snack. They require about 8 to 10 hours of sunlight per day. Chili peppers. Chili peppers are easy to grow and can be grown in a garden or in a pot. They require a lot of sunlight and regular watering to grow. Chili peppers have a spicy flavor. Make sure to choose the right type for your environment and available space. It's time to start planting the peppers. To start, you will need seeds of the peppers you want to plant. These can be seeds you purchased online or at a garden center, or seeds you collected from previous pepper harvests. Make sure to choose seeds of the type of peppers you want to grow and that they are fresh. The best time to plant peppers is shown on this map. Please pause the video and check the map. Begin by filling a seed tray or pots with potting soil. Then, make a small hole in each pot. Place one or two seeds in the hole and cover them with a thin layer of potting soil. Make sure the soil is moist, but not waterlogged, and cover the seed trays or pots with plastic wrap to maintain humidity. Place the trays or pots in a warm and sunny spot, such as on a windowsill. Keep the soil moist and check daily for seedlings to emerge. Once the seedlings emerge, you can remove the plastic wrap. Make sure the seedlings receive enough light, but avoid direct sunlight to prevent burning. Continue to water the seedlings and make sure they do not dry out. After about 6 to 8 weeks, the seedlings will be large enough to be transplanted into a larger pot or into the garden. Once the seedlings are about 7.5 to 10 centimeters tall and have developed at least two sets of true leaves, they are ready to be transplanted. Transplanting the seedlings will help them develop and become stronger. Begin by preparing the new pot in which you want to transplant the seedlings. Make sure the new pot is at least twice the size of the original pot and has enough drainage holes to allow water to drain. Fill the new pot with potting soil and make a hole in the middle to place the seedling. Carefully remove the seedling from its original pot and place it into the hole in the new pot. Fill the space around the seedling with potting soil until the new pot is full. Ensure that the seedling is planted at the same depth as in the original pot. After transplanting, Water the seedlings sufficiently to settle the new potting soil. Place the pot on a sunny windowsill or under artificial light to promote seedling growth. If you live in an area with warm weather, you may choose to grow your peppers outdoors. Only plant the peppers outside after the last frost. Peppers require plenty of sunlight and do not grow well in the shade. Choose a spot in your garden that receives ample sunlight and is sheltered from strong winds. Before placing the peppers outside, they must be hardened. 
This means gradually introducing the seedlings to the outdoor environment so that they can get used to it. Start by placing the seedlings outside on a sheltered spot for a few hours each day. Gradually increase the amount of time they spend outside until they can remain outside all day. When planting the peppers outside, ensure that the soil is well drained and add compost or organic fertilizers to improve the soil. Dig a hole that is about twice the size of the seedling's root ball. Place the seedling in the hole and fill the space with soil. Ensure that the seedling is planted at the same depth as in the pot. Regularly water the peppers and continue to feed them with compost or organic fertilizers to promote growth. Keep the soil moist but not too wet. If necessary, support the plants using a stake or cage to keep them upright. Prune the plant when it is about 15-20 cm tall and has formed at least 6-8 leaves. This will help to develop a stronger and healthier plant. Pepper plants often develop soft shoots, which are weaker and may produce fewer fruits. Prune these shoots to strengthen the plant. Remove dead leaves and branches to keep the plant healthy. This will also help to prevent diseases and pests from spreading. If branches become too tall, they can throw the plant off balance and make it harder to harvest the fruits. Prune these branches to keep the plant balanced. After following all these steps, we are ready for harvesting. The first thing to know is that it takes time for peppers to ripen and be ready for harvest. Most peppers take about 60 to 90 days to ripen. Red peppers are fully ripe when they have reached their deep red color. Green peppers are ripe when they have reached their full size and start to soften. When ready to harvest your peppers, use scissors or a sharp knife to carefully snip the stem of the pepper. Do not pull the pepper, as this can damage the plant. Cut the peppers when they are fully ripe to maximize flavor and aroma. Store the peppers in the refrigerator in an airtight bag or container until ready to use. You can also freeze them for longer storage. After harvesting, you will, of course, want to eat the peppers. That's why we have created a recipe for you. Red Pepper Soup Peel the onion and slice it into rings. Cut the tomatoes into quarters and remove the tough parts. Remove the seeds from the bell pepper and cut into large pieces. Cut the red peppers lengthwise and remove the seeds. Then slice the red peppers into half rings. Add a splash of olive oil to a soup pot and saute the onion, garlic, and peppers in it. Then add the tomatoes and bell pepper. Let this simmer until the tomatoes are soft and stir in the tomato paste to let it heat up with the mixture. Now add the broth, sugar, and paprika powder. Let this simmer gently for about 30 minutes. Puree the soup with a hand blender and then strain it to remove any seeds or skins. Press with the rounded side of a spoon to extract all the liquid, leaving only a thick paste in the sieve. Season with salt if necessary.